Hi. I wanted to show you how I did my rainbow makeup. Now, this is not like the usual tutorials that you see the absolute blank face and then the completion. Obviously, you see the makeup is already done, but I wanted to show you how I actually did it. Now, usually I use brushes. I really prefer brushes for my makeup application, but for really small palettes like this, where you see the size of the tin, and your whole idea is not to do a sweeping motion, but to pat the application, it's actually easier just to touch it to and go like this. But I will show you the colors I used. Um, to get a red that was as close a match to my shirt as possible, um, I used the one here. I hope that you can see the, the clear on this. And I applied to the inside, almost the inside corner of each eye. And then for the orange, see I really love this B&H palette because these colors are very vivid and I, as soon as I got it, I right away thought that this would really be a great palette to, to do the rainbow because I do have a number, or a few palettes and none of them has all the colors that I need. So I use this, this orange shade here. Then the yellow, I use this one. And the green, I think this one here. And now usually when people do rainbow stripes, they do it this way and they go more this way. And as you can see how I carried the stripes, I actually started doing them this way. Just because I never had done them like that before. And of course not having black eyeliner kind of stuff. But, okay, this was the color I used for my highlights with the strobe from the B&H Black Light Palette, Black Light Highlight, and now for the actual foundation itself, I used a combination of the B&H Studio Pro 101 for the, uh, for the uh, concealer. This was, at the time, was the lightest they carried. Now they have two, two steps down, but I used this, and I used Elf Cosmetics All Over Color Stick in the lightest shade they had, uh, which is called Apricot Beige. But uh, maybe I'll, if I turn the light out, it'll be less glare. It's quite pale, as you can see. Just like it's so hard for me to find makeup that's light enough that actually matches my skin tone. But the combination of these two was for the all over face. And this is what I use for my contour. This is actually, I got this at the dollar store. This is a matte, plummy purple color from CoverGirl. It's a eyeshadow, it's called Professional Eye Enhancers, and the color is called Jammin. This is what it's like when I don't turn the bright light on. And this is the contour that I used on here. The uh, brush I really love. I got this as part of a three-piece mini brush set I got when I made my B&H Cosmetics order. But this is a, uh, I wanted, I've been wanting a contour brush. And this purple shade is perfect color for someone, not only because I have purple hair, but because I have cool skin tones. And most of the colors that people use for their contour, if you have a cool tone and you're using a bronzer, 
that tends to be a warm tone. So you're going to end up, no matter how much blending you do, it's going to look muddy, it's going to look artificial, it's going to look orange. And if you're a cool skin tone, you look better with a cool tone uh, color for your contour. And uh, this is something I dumbed on because the shades that were supposed to be recommended for uh, my skin type didn't look good on me, but this works. Uh, oh, for my mascara. Now, this is what I apply on lower uh, lashes. This is NYX Color Mascara in purple. And that's what I have on my lower lashes. Uh, for my upper lashes, uh, I am wearing a black mascara. And the actual one that I'm wearing, uh, actually, I dropped it on the floor, so I, I'm kind of a germaphobe, so... I washed the container, but it is a uh, black mascara. Um, it's not like any of the ones that's in my bag, but there is no eyeliner on because when I did this, I didn't have any anymore. So, oh, and this is what I use for my eyebrow color. It's the uh, CoverGirl, no, excuse me, Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this is the, the closest that I've been able to find to my hair color. Uh, I always like to have a variety of purple shades so that I can do my eyebrows, especially since I got that contact dermatitis from using the henna. So, uh, but if I can find something that's not going to make me break out in a rash like that, that I can do my brow semi-permanent, I will do that again because it is, it is really great to wake up with looking as made up as possible. Okay. The, oh, and the lipstick that I am using is from ELF, and um, I believe it's, oh darn it, I don't have it, it's in the other room. Well, I have two main reds that I use now, uh, I'll just show you the other one, the other one is called Red Carpet, also by ELF. However, this one that I'm wearing now is not that one. It's the other one. And I don't want to walk into the next room and have to edit that out and everything. So let's just say the red I'm wearing is not this one. So that is the makeup that I have on my face. Um, the, the video that I want to do prior. So now you know. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell notification thingy, and you get to see the next video that I do. Until then, talk to you soon. This is Leather Rock. See you later.